Okay, What's up, guys? I'm Madison Goforth. I'm here with the World Race, and I'm about to go on some home visits. What do you like about home visits, um, Paige? I like talking to people and hearing about people's lives and their stories and being able to share Jesus with them. Great. What an answer. And giving shoes to them. That's fun, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The different things that makes me like, like home visit. One is to change like people's life with the gospel and also to hear the So we just walked about a mile to a house and we're here and we just walked through this dirt road and we're arriving at the homestead and we're just gonna go and give these people some shoes and encourage them and pray for them and whatever else. Every time I do it. Oh, baby. Wow. Do you remember the song? Yeah. 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 No lipa. <laughs> Merisa. <laughs> no lipa. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the woman we just talked to, her name is Josefina, and she is in her 90s. She doesn't know how old she is, um, but she's at least 90. Um, and she couldn't see, couldn't, and she can't hear. Um, so we prayed over her ears for healing and nothing really happened but then we prayed over her eyes and her right eye both of her eyes were blind and her right eye opened and she can see now with her right eye and her left eye they they had surgery on her eye and the ophthalmologist whoever um, did something wrong and it hurt her eye and so she can't open her left eye but she can open her left eye now. <laughs> and so now I think we're headed to the care point and we're gonna go hang with some kids, play. Um, the care point kids, well, t I'll tell you about them later. How are you? Good. <laughs> Sweet, so we just arrived at the care point. There's tons of sweet kids and they're going crazy for my camera, so I'm gonna make it quick. So most of these kids, <laughs> most of these kids come to the care point because they don't get any food. So their families may not be able to provide, they may have nowhere to go. And so these kids come here and they get one meal a day and it's a nutritious meal. Um, we're working with Children's Hope Chest and that's in Colorado Springs. Um, and so you can, yeah, they get one meal. We just come here and we play with them and it's super fun as you can tell. They're super sweet kids. And then we'll go in this building later and we'll give a little sermon, maybe play a little game, teach them about Jesus and love on them. All right, so I got an update on the care point because this is my first day. The kids actually get two meals. So they get to eat a meal in the morning and then eat a meal at lunch. So one of the funny things about the care point is that the teacher will sometimes send the kids across the street to the store to get her soda. Funny thing is, World Race Protocol, I can't even go to the store by myself. I'm 22. They're six. Or They're four. six. Or three. 
Yep. Hi. <laughs> so we just came into the care point classroom. The teacher told us that they were getting injections. And so I found out a little bit more about what that means. All these kids probably have worms in them that are parasites eating away their food. So they actually have to eat twice as much food as a normal kid would in order to keep their body healthy. And so one dollar can deworm anywhere from 50 to 100 kids, depending on the country. So if you literally gave $10 a year, you could help deworm almost 1,000 kids, which is incredible. So it's one of the best things that Westerners can do to give their money to kids like this in Africa. Um, so we're deworming today. So all these kids are gonna get dewormed. They get to take two, they do this twice a year. So this is once, and then they'll do it another time this year. And it goes a long way, and it helps them be nourished, not have worms. Say hello from Swaziland. Hello from hello. Swaziland. <laughs> it was a good day in the life of Madison Go Forth. We're done with the care point. The kids learned a lot about what it looks like to live by faith and not by sight. Peter needed faith to walk over the water and he lost sight of the Lord. He lost faith and he looked at the waves and he fell in because he had little faith. So the kids learned a lot about what it means to have big faith, and now we're headed home. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe below, and go forth and share the gospel. That clock in there is a Dent clock, and Mr. Dent made the Big Ben clock in London. Same person who made our clock. Uh, I'll tell you when it's gonna chime. It's gonna, it's gonna chime every quarter.